everyone so i'm back at um this little trout stream again today and i'm gonna go for a, a real quick fish i don't have a lot of time so i better get into it just running my little um light creek sort of setup this is a um one to three kilo um td hyper six foot rod on that i'm just using this little this little inline spinner and i'm testing out a new reel this is a little uh daewa td black 2000 s Normally I'd use my thousand size reel for real small stuff like this, but I wanted to have a go of um, this new reel. So there has been a bit of rain here recently and uh, water level is up a little bit and it's a bit murkier. Jeez, that spinner casts very well. Oh, let's try this little beach area. A little bit lighter spinner. And a snag. Yes. Got it back. This green reedy shit is just a nightmare. Whee, come on, get up there. There we go. First one. What is that? Is that a... Oh yeah, it's a rainbow. Calm down. Oh, he really took that. Okay. Nice little rainbow. Well, I really went for that. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Um, it's not very big, so I'm not going to measure him, but he's probably, you know, like 25 centimeter. I love the, the smaller rainbows with all those little tiny black spots on him. Beautiful fish. Let's chuck him back. See you, mate. So the um, inline spinner. It's no secret. These are really effective on trout, but um, I haven't tried one at this stream yet. Oh, so I've just had a go. Come on, take it. So just the one so far. Keep working our way up. Oh, bit of movement over there. Got a bit of stuff just in here the other day. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yeah. Another little rainbow, I think. Calm down, buddy. Not sure how big. Probably, oh, I'd say like 22 centimeters, something like that. Chuck him back in over there so he doesn't go tell his friends. Oh, see if we can pull a big one out of here. This is where I pulled quite a good size one out just last week oh yeah there we are come on oh just lost him damn they love this corner shit keep going up i really would like to get one more we got one i'll bring it over here come on Whee. there you go another rainbow underneath the bridge uh probably you know around that 25 centimeter sort of mark we'll chuck him back in Keep trying that spot again. Hopefully there's a bigger fish hanging around somewhere. Oh, this spin is heaps better than the other one I was using. The other one I was using, the blade wasn't really spinning on it and I thought that was just what that brand was like, but no, this is heaps better. Oh yeah, this is tons better. Come on, take it. Take it, buddy. Yeah, come on, stay on. Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. Don't go back. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't very big. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come on, stay down. Oh, what? That's not good. That's not good at all. Look at that. Second species, which is cool, but this is not what we're after. Little red fin. I know you get them. I know you get them upstream of here, but um, yeah, it's just a little. It's sad to see um, one in here. All right, let's get the hook out of this guy, and we're gonna have to put him down. So in my last red fin video, I said you're not allowed to put these guys back. Um, legally, you actually are allowed to put them back, and I don't like putting them back. Um, either way so i'm gonna put this guy out i don't like to return anything into the water that's not native i realize that trout aren't native but it's illegal for me to 
not put the trout back um, if they're undersized. All right, so I will just put this guy out. Um, I'm not putting redfin back in this river. And he's out. All right, and I think that uh, redfin might have been our last fish. All right, let's pack it up. It's getting a bit late and pretty cold, to be honest. All right, everyone, so I'm going to pack that up now. Um, let that redfin be our last fish. What did we get in that session? We got like, I can't remember, at least like four trout. Hooked up to heaps of them and, and dropped a lot of them too. So uh, yeah, uh, new reel, that little TD Black. Um, not bad, I do like it, but I think for this sort of stuff, I definitely like my little Vanford 1000 um, more. But uh, yeah, this is not bad. I didn't buy that. I didn't buy this 2000 reel for this sort of fishing anyway. Um, I bought it as like a nice light bass reel. Really just a good all rounder reel. It still does this stuff really well, but um, I do like my Vanford better. Anyways, it is getting um, a bit dark and pretty cold, so I'm gonna pack it up. See you guys on the next one.